So, welcome back to the Builders Hub. Sorry it's been a little while, I've been pretty busy lately. Um, like silly little jobs, I had a bathroom to do last week and it was so small, there's no point even filming it. Um, today we're down in Eastbourne on the seafront as you can see behind me. It's not a bad day for a video out here. Uh, I'm doing a little toilet cloakroom. It's another fiddly one as well, so I haven't really bothered to uh, do much filming. I just wanted to show you around, let you know what I've been doing as I haven't actually done any how-tos this week. Um, Yes, let's go have a look. So here we go. This is what we're on at the moment. Nice bit of herringbone. What do you think about the pink? I quite like it actually, it's grown on me. So you've got pink herringbone up there and then we've gone for multi-panel for the rest of it. We've gone for a white multi-panel and they're 2.4 high, so there's gonna be a gap up there. So what we're gonna do is put a neat white trim along and then go all the way up. So it's a little bit fiddly this one, I'm trying to multi-panel all that. But um, yeah, I'm sure we're gonna get it done. So I'm just on the floor at the moment. I'm gonna tile the floor shortly. I'm just using a cement board. I always prefer using a cement board rather than ply. I've had tiles pop off ply before, but I've never had any issues with this stuff. And at least six mil, I've gone for 12, just to bring it up a bit more soundproof purposes, being a flat. So yeah, you can see this, we've built this. This is also built out of a cement board as well and there's no button for this toilet it's going to be a sensor so that's going to be pretty cool so i'll show you that when we do that bit so yeah that's it to be continued maybe i should do a video on how to do herringbone it's quite tricky well the tricky bit is to kind of set it up because you would have thought middle point is there but it's not it's actually over that side a bit so it's a little bit fiddly but once you get going, you're all right. As long as you've got one of these, if you're doing any herringbone, you need one of these. It just makes life so much easier. So you can see bang for doing all your, your cuts. But yeah, right. This is where we are at now. Grouted all that in now. What do you reckon then? You like? Just setting out for the floor now. We've got a grey kind of dark concrete kind of colour what I'm doing is get all the cuts done get them all cut and laid out and then I'm gonna go for it but yeah coming along and it's gonna be a lovely little sensor on there so you're gonna go like that and then the toilet's gonna flush so here we go then we're just getting that floor tiled now as you saw me earlier dry laid them all got them all cut things you're gonna need these are handy for tiles like this having a pair of suckers builders hub and also these little buttes, these are amazing, these are. So they get it flush and also they hold it quite nice and tight so they don't start sliding around. I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but let's see if I can do a quick little demo. And they're reusable as well, which is handy. So literally put it in, twist it round, and then crank it up. And then that just brings it all nice and <clears throat> nice and level there. So I'm going to put a few of them down there. Just hold them all nice as well. And take them out just before it all dries. Makes it a bit easier. I just want to show you outside first before I go anywhere. It's beautiful out here today. Look at that down in Eastbourne. Probably well up there. You can see the rocks. Do a little crabbing and... Have a lot of fun on them down there. You can see that all the way down there. Beautiful. We've got a navy ship right out of the sea as well. Just to go and look at that and have a look. But yeah, enough of that. Right, let's get back in there and show you where we're at. Just going to turn this radio off before I get done for copyright again. We don't want that. So we're getting there now with the uh, herringbone. It's such a fiddly little job, but we're getting there. Tiled the floor last night. Just getting the bits of paneling on now. Some panels were easier to put on before I tiled because it was so big, and then some I did after. So there's a bit of this and a bit of that. Just want to show you what to do when you get to a corner. See, sometimes, obviously, if you're paneling your whole room and you've got a corner trim and a corner trim either side, what do you do? So the little trick is, if you cut your board, oh, I've got it stuck now. 
There you go. So you cut it a little bit short. Uh, there you go, you see that? But it's in that side and then just give it a little shunt. So you really want to get it two and a half mil in one side. There you go. Just like that, two and a half mil in there, two and a half mil in there. Jobs are good. And then what I'm going to do with this, because it's a white board, I'm going to get a white joining strip and hook that in there. I might have to cut the back of it off, but I'll get that in there, so I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, it's 11.30 now. We've still got, what we've got left the panel? That bit up there, I'll take the arc trave off to get the, uh, get this filly little bit of paneling in across there and around there, but I'm getting there now. Hopefully I want to get panel by 12 really, so I can start cleaning and grouting and get out of here. Yes, right. I want to talk to you about this one quickly. So I'm up three flights of stairs, doing this panelling. It's not ideal, really. If it was me, I don't think I would have done it because of the ag, but it's looking nice though. I'm quite happy with it now, considering what thought when we got here. So yeah, gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna show you how far we gotta go. So let me take something with me. Me. So yeah, this is where the old cutting station is. Yeah, the plumber's just turned up now to get it all second fixed, so it's all happening. So there you have it. Leaning on that. So yeah, it looks pretty neat. It's 2.4 up. I'm just about to get that one in. I've stuck that board in there, but what you will have to do, because it's that corner, that corner, everything, you have to, it's not very nice, but you've got to cut off all of this section here, so just literally, so you've got that left, just the T, got the T left and that, just stick that straight in there. Job done us, so yeah, almost there now. <whistles> Put the archives back on as well in a minute. Yes. And there we have it for this video. Mirrors up, that's in. The radiators on there, I haven't grouted the floor. I haven't sealed up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it would have been done, but this has been doing my head in. I don't think it's gonna work now. No. So that's supposed to flush. But it's not. Let me show you that. That thing in there. I'm supposed to make the toilet flush, but I've got some issues. I don't know what they are. We're giving up. So, yeah. leaving that for today. But thanks for watching this. Uh, have a good weekend, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it. Boy, right. take me home.